hands in our lap, hands in our lap, voices off, voices off. Thank you. Here's what we're doing in our video today. Primary Academy scholars will be able to chant and move to rhythm exercises. We will sing solfege and match pitch. We will discover jazz music and read This Jazz Man. So we're going to start off by chanting those rhythm exercises. Let's see if we can do it from memory. So you need to come up with your exercise that you're going to do that is very rhythmic. That means we can feel the beat in our bodies. So you can do jumping jacks. You can run in place and feel the beat in your feet. You can do arm circles. You can do squats. I'm going to do arm circles just because of how my video is. I have this much space to work with. And you're going to chant along with me. Every time my arms hit the bottom, that's one beat. Beat. Here we go. So you remember. Quarter note. One beat. Ta. 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 Half notes. Two beats. Ta. Ta. Whole notes. Four beats. Ta. Eighth notes, half a beat, T, 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 T. Okay, can you relax? We're going to do it one more time. So you can do arm circles with me, or maybe now this time you're going to do a different exercise. So maybe you want to run in place, quarter, no, one, beat, ta. Maybe you want to, uh, maybe you like to lift weights, like maybe your grown-ups at home have weights and you can lift weights. Uh, your choice. I'm going to stick with arm circles. I'm going to go backwards this time, though. Change it up a little bit. Here we go. Quarter note. One beat. Ta, 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 ta. Half note. Two beats. Ta, ta. Whole note. Four beats. Ta. Eighth notes. Half a beat. T, 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 t. All right, you can relax. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is sing solfege. So when we sing solfege, your job is just to echo me and sing what I sing. And I'm gonna add in the hand signs. And if you'd like to add those in, you can also, okay? So my turn. Do, re, mi, your turn. Do, re, mi, my turn. Mi, re, do, your turn. Mi, re, do, my turn. Do, mi, do, your turn. Do, mi, do, my turn. Mi, do, mi, your turn. Mi, do, mi, my turn. Do, mi, so, your turn. Do, mi, so, my turn. So me do your turn. So me do my turn. Do re mi fa so your turn. Do re mi fa so my turn. So fa mi re do your turn. So fa mi re do my turn do 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 your turn do 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 thank you okay today we're going to talk a little bit about jazz music and uh, our jazz music is a big unit that we do a big uh, thing that we study when we're in primary academy usually in first grade is when we spend the most time on it. Um, so some of this stuff is just stuff I'm going to say to you and then I'm going to show you a few pictures and maybe this is something you can make a connection to in your brain. So first I'm going to tell you a little bit about jazz music. Um, jazz is a kind of music that was invented in the United States. That's the country where we live. Uh, there's a lot of different kinds of music. I'm thinking of rock and roll, R&B, hip-hop, Country, classical, jazz is another kind of music. And not a lot of different kinds of music came from the U.S., but this was invented here in the U.S.A. Jazz music combines African-American music with European music. 
Um, European means it comes from Europe, the continent. Um, jazz music originally came from enslaved people from Africa who were forced to work um, in the southern United States. Um, we talk a little bit about the kind of music that they made um, back in that time, and we talk about that mostly when we were in elementary academy. Um, but they sang something, these enslaved people, called spirituals, which is uh, songs that sometimes talked about um, how slavery made them feel, or it talked about um, their faith, you know, the greater being that they believed in. Um, so jazz kind of came from that. It also came from something called call and response songs. We sing call and response to songs every time we have a music video and we sing, we are singing, we are singing, tracking the talker, tracking the talker, call and response. I sing, you sing, same kind of thing. So a long time ago, back when slavery was going on, um, enslaved people created this music and over time it changed a little bit. And that's what became blues, which is another form of music. And eventually that's what became jazz, which is pretty cool. Um, it's pretty cool that something so beautiful could come out of something so bad. Jazz really became popular in the early 1900s. So that was like 110 years ago, long time ago. New Orleans, Louisiana is often called the home of jazz. Um, it's still a very popular style of music today and here because of how different jazz can be from one time to another or from one musician to another. Most of the pictures that I'm going to show you, all the pictures I'm going to show you today are from an earlier time in jazz. Not all the way back in the 1910s when it became popular, but kind of the most famous people who made jazz most well-known. Um, some common jazz instruments include, maybe you have a connection when I say some of these instruments, saxophone, trumpet, piano, double bass, and drums. There's more instruments than just those, but those are the main ones. Um, it's kind of hard to explain what jazz is without listening to it. There's a singer named Nina Simone, who I'm going to show you a picture of in a few minutes. And she said, jazz is not just music. It is a way of life. It is a way of being, a way of thinking. Which is kind of big words to describe a way of music, but it's just, it just means it's something that you have to feel inside of you. Um, one important part of jazz is something called improvisation. Improvisation. And that means that the person who's making the music is kind of making it up as they go along. You might see sometimes Mrs. Isles when she reads music. I just grabbed this piece of sheet music. We'll read this so I know that I'm playing exactly the right thing at the exactly right time. When you improvise something, it means you don't use music like what I just showed you. You make it up as you go, which is pretty cool. Um, jazz music is very rhythmic. That means we feel the beat in our bodies. And it also swings a little bit. So it's kind of just has a cool feel to it. So first I thought I would show you a picture of some of the different instruments in jazz in case you couldn't make a connection or didn't make a connection with all of them. Okay, so first, here's a picture of a drum set. So there's different kinds of drums. These are called toms. That's a snare drum and a floor tom. Then this big circle, and it's called a bass drum. And these are called cymbals. This is a saxophone. A trumpet. This one's called a double bass. To me, it looks like a violin. But if Mrs. Isles stood next to this, it would be taller than she is. These are about six feet tall. They're really, really big. Um, and then we have two different kinds of pianos. This is called a grand piano. And this is called an upright piano. Um, the piano in the music room is an upright piano. Um, and then down here, it's kind of hard to see this picture. There's a piano player and a saxophone player and an upright bass player. So those are some of the instruments 
in jazz. And then I thought I would show you some pictures of some of famous jazz musicians, some that um, Mrs. Isles, actually all of them are ones Mrs. Isles really likes. Some of them you might have heard of before. Um, I know when you get to second grade, you do a little study on one of one of these musicians. So I'm going to tell you just the little bit that I know about these musicians. Um, and then I'll show you their picture. So the first one I'm going to show you is Duke Ellington, who was a musician who played this instrument in front of him. He was very well known for playing the piano. Duke Ellington, a famous jazz musician. The next one is one of my favorite singers. Her name is Nina Simone. She has a lot of really cool songs. Uh, she has a wonderful song called uh, Young, Gifted, and Black that I would recommend everybody listens to. It's a beautiful song. Um, I Put a Spell on You is another wonderful song of hers. And I just love the sound of her voice. Another famous singer is Ella Fitzgerald. She had a lot of really popular songs that played even on the radio. Ella Fitzgerald. Another one, this is one you might maybe make a connection to. His name is Louis Armstrong. He played the trumpet. And what I, kn I know a lot about Louis Armstrong, but just a little bit. He grew up very, very poor. He uh, had to do little jobs around people's houses to buy his very first trumpet. And uh, he, his nickname is Satchmo. Satchmo. This is a picture of Miles Davis. Uh, my printer went a little funny when I was printing up here. He was well known for playing this instrument, the trumpet. And I read that people who know a lot about music um, kind of did a, had a discussion who is the best jazz musician ever. And they decided that Miles Davis, the trumpet player, was the best musician ever. John Coltrane, he was a saxophone player. You can see his saxophone there in his hand. And the last one I have is Billie Holiday. Her nickname was Lady Day. Billie Holiday. So those are just some of the famous uh, jazz musicians. The last picture I have to show you, I just thought was interesting because we were talking about how jazz music came from the music of enslaved people in the South. So in this picture, it's kind of hard to see because it's in black and white, but if you see down here, this is the Southern United States. We live up here in Minnesota, way far away, but it kind of shows with these light colored lines how jazz music started here. And then when Abraham Lincoln uh, created the Emancipation Proclamation and the, those enslaved people were freed, they moved to different parts of the uh, country, so it spread. And a bunch of the people moved to New York City, so that became a very big place for jazz. A bunch of them moved to Chicago. Maybe some of you have a connection to Chicago. Um, so there's a lot of people from Chicago who made a lot of good stuff in jazz. Some people moved to Kansas City. And then some of them moved out to Los Angeles and out to California, and they had an, another different change in jazz. And I've also heard that up in Detroit, Michigan, that there was a big uh, jazz scene. So that's kind of a cool thing. Okay, so that's a little bit about jazz music. It's a style of music that came from enslaved people in the South and kind of changed over time. Uh, you play trumpet, you play saxophone, you play drums, you play piano, and you do a lot of improvisation, making music up on the spot. So to start us off with this, I have a fun book called This Jazz Man that I thought would be, we would read today to kind of get us started. And something I really like about this book that we're going to talk more about in, in another video is they say a lot of words in this book that are like nonsense words. They don't mean anything. And in jazz, when we're talking about improvisation, making things up as we go along, we can do something that's called scat singing. Um, so I'm going to say the words. I'm not going to sing them because we're going to practice scat singing in another video. Okay, so here we go. This Jazz Man by Karen Erhart. Pictures by R.G. Roth. There we go. It says over here, B 
Doopy diddly do ah. Well, that doesn't mean anything, Mrs. Isles. This jazz man, he plays one. He plays rhythm with his thumb with a snap, snap, snazzy snap. Give the man a hand. This jazz man scats with the band. Do ah. This jazz man, he plays two. He makes music with his shoes with a tap, tap, shuffle, slap. Give the man a hand. This jazz man stomps with the band. It says at the bottom, shuffle, step, shim, sham, sham, hop, step, slide. So we have to, this jazz man played one. This jazz man played two. This jazz man, he plays three. He plays congas tween his knees with a bippity bop, poppity pop. Give the man a hand. This jazz man pounds with the band. Ticka taka, ticka taka, slap, pop, pop, pop. He's playing at the Mambo Club in Havana. Bring it home, now you're cooking. This jazz man, he plays four. He conducts them through the score with a one and a two and a Give the man a hand. This jazz man, he leads the band. He is a conductor and leads the band. This jazz man, he plays five. He plays bebop. He plays jive with a beetle de bop, ba bop. Give the man a hand. This jazz man blows with the band. Be bop, be bop, bop, be ah. This jazz man, he plays six. He plays solos with his sticks. With a bop, bop, ba ba bop. Give the man a hand. This jazz man beats with the band. Chicka chee, chicka chee, ba 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 This jazz man, he plays seven. He plays notes that rise to heaven. With a toot toot dooly doot. Give the man a hand. This jazz man wails with the band. Dooly doot doot toot toot. There's a little mouse down there. He's funny. This jazz man, he plays eight. He plays keys all 88 with a tink, tink, tinkly dink. Give the man a hand. This jazz man swings with the band. Dink, dinkle, dink, 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 dink. Piano. When it says 88, that's because the piano has 88 keys. This jazz man, he plays nine. He plucks strings that sound divine with a thump, thump. Thump, thump, thump. Give the man a hand. This band, jazz man jams with the band. Thump, 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 thump. That's an upright bass. Look how big it is. This jazz man, they played ten. We beg them to play again with an encore. We want more. Give them all a hand. Yeah. You can see them all come. These jazz men make one great band. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then it's just got some more words about jazz and some more pictures of some jazz. So a wonderful book. Kind of reminds me of this old man. He played one. He played knick-knack on my thumb. But this jazz man, he plays jazz. We are going to continue more learning about jazz in our future videos. I think the next three videos, if I'm remembering right off the top of my head. It's an important part of American history, an important part of music history that I love to explore with you. We only have one thing left to do today, and that is to do our training. So breathe with me, Primary Academy. Here we go. Thank you for joining me today, and we'll see you next time with more music.